Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARR Laboratory. Did you like Joel Hallis' article on the Palstar HF Auto? I did. Now it's time to see it. This is a fully automatic 1500 watt antenna tuner. Power buttons here. We have very simple controls on the front. This is your mode button. I'm in the auto mode now. Now I'm in the manual mode. I can actually adjust the capacitor and the inductor by turning this knob. Hear that? Oh yes, that's supposed to make that sound. More on that later. There's the bypass mode if you go right uh, directly into your antenna. Uh, your setup mode, your menus, and back to automatic. Wow, let's see how this works. I'm going to apply power about 10 watts. Here it goes. It's automatically hunting for the best SWR. I have a 1.03 to 1 SWR into a 50 ohm load now. Let's uh, switch the antenna load over to 200 ohms and watch it tune. Okay, there it goes. Finding the best combination of L and C and getting the SWR down all by itself. Remarkable and done at 1.16 to 1. How about that? Now let's take a look inside. Well, here it is. Impressive looking roller inductor and differential capacitor. In the front part, we have the motors, the step motors that actually drive these. In front of that is a control module here. And in the back side, we have uh, antenna relays. There's three antenna positions on this antenna tuner. And over here, we have the sensor. Senses the power and the forward and reflected power. And it tells the control board what it's reading, and then it makes the decision of how to adjust the inductor and capacitor. Hmm, looks shiny. Now in the manual mode, the stepper motors in front will make a little grindy noise. That's normal operation. But we now have it in automatic, and let's uh, make these parts spin around all by themselves. Here we go, turn the transmitter on, and change the load, and here we go. All automatic. Here's the back side of the HF Auto. Ferrite cores here prevent any kind of RF while the antenna tuner is tuning from going down the DC power cable back to your power supply and to some of your other equipment. We have three antenna positions available to us. Here's your RF input, a programming switch, and radio control here. And don't forget the ground connection. Now, as you've seen, there's no switching relays involved like other antenna tuners. That means you can actually adjust the antenna tuner with higher power into it. Although, it's always good to reduce your power to eliminate interference to your fellow ham. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARL Laboratory.